are the top five things to expect at Mobile World Congress 2019. MWC is the showcase for all kinds of mobile devices. A note about this top five, we're expecting to see every one of the items listed at MWC. To rank them, let's use hype as our metric. The more hype the feature will be, the higher it'll be on this list. Let's get to it. Coming at number five, cameras. How do you make your phone stand out in a crowd? Slap another camera on it. Take a look at this leaked image of a Nokia phone. That's not some kind of abstract floral pattern. That's the rear camera array, including the flash unit. Also expect an older method of talking up cameras, more and more megapixels. The Oppo F11 Pro could have a 48 megapixel camera on the back. That's not even a crazy number. The Honor View 20 already showed off its own 48 megapixel camera. Number four are in-screen fingerprint sensors. This technology has been around for a little while now, but I'd bet we'll see more and more phones crowing about in-screen fingerprint sensors. Why? If companies move to something like Face ID, you're potentially looking at a big notch on the screen. There already seems to be a movement to smaller and more elegant notches on Android devices. So the in-display sensor could allow for a more secure way to unlock your phone without packing in a Face ID-like assembly. These new sensors are also supposed to be harder to fool. That's right, fake fingers shouldn't work. Those are words to live by. At number three is what I'm calling the not notch. Speaking of the move to smaller notches, we're seeing some experimentation in the mobile space to avoid the notch display. Samsung has showed off its hole punch style Infinity-O display. We've seen selfie cameras popping out of the body of phones. There's even something like the dual screened Nubia X, which slaps a display on the back. Who needs a notch for a selfie camera when you could just use the main rear camera for pictures? There's also a report from CNET's own Roger Cheng that says LG will have an option for a second screen attachment. We are now at number two and that is 5G. It's the next big thing. They've added another G5 is better than four. You're going to see a lot of phones touting 5G. The thing is you don't have to show off a vastly different looking device if it's faster inside. Plus, there's a race to get the first 5G phone to market. A note to all, getting the first next generation device doesn't always work out great. There are usually all kinds of kinks to work out. Plus, there's no real 5G network to hook into, but they are rolling out slowly. Also be aware the first 5G phones may be thicker than older models to handle the new tech. We'll see 5G devices from Samsung, Huawei, LG, and OnePlus. And the number one thing to get hyped out of MWC 2019 will be foldable phones. We're living in a world where smartphones just don't have the wow factor that they used to. Do you know what makes people say wow? Foldable phones that become tablets. How much function does an expanding display add? That remains to be seen. The future for foldables looks bright since Google has already set up guidelines on how Android developers can take advantage of these transforming tablets. I'd imagine we'll see some really cool looking concepts the question is, how good will these be when they make it to market? Xiaomi's teaser video makes us want to believe in an elegant future. A special thanks to the one and only Jess Delcourt for her help on this episode. Where do you see phones going in the future? Let us know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.